I don't even know how to start telling you all this story because this is crazy. <laughs> waterfall in Trinidad which is the Maracas waterfall y'all this is honestly not doing it justice because this is just breathtaking wow it was a little difficult getting up here because you know you get all this sexiness the toes up the hair and thing now boy so we struggled a little bit a little bit but we made it now let's go back and take in the journey of how we got here because mm, it wasn't easy so guys, I was playing superhero woman and I did not sleep the night before because I had so much work to do. Let me tell you, bad idea. I almost didn't make it. Anyways, the Maracas waterfall is located in Maracas, St. Joseph. So we had about a 30 minute drive in before we arrived at our destination where we parked all of our vehicles and it was time to get a briefing before we started the hike. Everybody. I am Coach Jedi. Welcome to Progo Fitness High Club. Today we are hiking to Maracas Waterfall and then we go down to Belata Fall. Right? So this is the largest waterfall we have in our country, right? Rules. Most important guys, no littering. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. 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 So we might fall here, might be some test snakes, yeah? And now the most important just rule. Listen to the high guy. And then you sit down for Yes, of Listen, course. Listen, let's enjoy wise. We just come to have fun. We have an enjoyable time today. All right? Only good vibes, yeah? Yeah. 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 Bad vibes, dumb too. All right? And with that, guys, we were off. Heading on a trip in my favorite rocket trip. Flowing through the bush. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh my god, I just cracked myself up. No, because I. On my wheel. Why? I decided to start the lighters. Why are you doing it? Okay. <laughs> I'm like, big bad DJ. I need to call it. <laughs> Can you guys hear how I am panting? Oh my goodness. Even though this hike was rated a level 2 and the last one was rated a level 3, because this one had so much uphill hiking, it was a struggle. But it was definitely worth it and I would totally do it again, y'all. Let's just take a minute and enjoy the views because it is absolutely breathtaking. Talk to me nice, talk to me honestly. Okay guys, not too far from the entrance of the bush section of the hike I would call it, there is a natural spring water fountain which they insisted that I had to taste. I lowkey really didn't wanna because I just feel like I could have some big raster man up in the bush peeing in this water but okay let's try it. Okay guys, this is why I said this is the real bush part of the hike because from here on out we were no longer walking on road but we were actually walking through mud, grass and dirt. I was low-key freaking out because I thought that majority of the hike was going to be uphill but it eventually leveled out and it wasn't that bad honestly. The scenery though, are you all seeing this? I felt like I was in some kind of nature movie. It's like... I don't even know how to explain it to you, honestly. And if you look up in the distance, that red signals that we are close. And we made it, guys. The tallest waterfall in Trinidad. It is absolutely breathtaking. This footage does not do it justice. If you have the time and you are in Trinidad, you definitely need to go and check it out. I was 
just in awe because this is just magical guys i don't even know how else to explain it but you can tell me why this waterfall is so rude and just decide to drop water on my phone just so just so My middle name should have been a water because how oh, you look up quite dead and I'm getting wet. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, now nah, I just be doing the most to get these pictures. You know, you can tell me why I climb and go in. Lord, Father. I can just stay here for the day because, wow, this is like so amazing. I wish only can see what I see it because like these pictures are not doing it justice. Look at this. Wow. Now let me take a selfie. And with that guys, it was time for us to make our journey to our second destination on this hike. But first, Luca has a message for you. Tell them what the hike is what? Easy. Alright, big up Luca all in. Say bye. <laughs> And finally guys, we made it to the Balata Waterfalls, as you can see behind me. And this is where things got a little crazy. But first, let's do our giveaway. We're gonna need some help from Siri to choose our winner. Hey Siri. Mm -hmm. Choose a random number between 1 and 11. A random number between 1 and 11 is 7. Ding ding ding! Congratulations to our winner, Bright New Beginnings Prep BNB. You can message via our Instagram to collect your prize. If you didn't win this one, guys, don't worry. We have you covered. We are giving away free clothing in every single vlog. All you have to do is leave a comment. Once you leave a comment, you'd be given a number, and one random number would be selected, and the winner would be announced in our next vlog. If you haven't done so already guys, please like this video and consider subscribing because we are going to be having a lot a lot of fun on this channel. Now let's get back into the vlog. Okay guys, let's get into the story. Forgive me for this terrible video quality, but this guy up there is Coach Chris who climbed up this waterfall so easily he made me think I could have done it. Bad idea. <laughs> guys, by the time I got to the middle of the waterfall, my shoes fell off and I was slipping. I thought I was going to die. My anxiety got the better of me and I could not move. I could not go up. I could not go down. Coach Jedi along with Coach Tyson and other members of the high group then had to climb up this waterfall behind my big tail to get me down. Coach Jedi, who is always so supportive to my adventure spirit, then decided to jump on my back. I'm going to take you up the waterfall. Y'all, I am so weak. I have no muscle. I fell straight off his back. I could not even break the hole. <laughs> We try about three times to get me up this waterfall on his back and I just couldn't do it y'all. Eventually, after other persons climbed up, I was like, you know what? Hell no, I have to get up this waterfall. I borrowed someone's shoes, guy, and it took everything in me. Emotional, spiritual, mental. I was ready. I had to get up this waterfall. And guess what happened? The girl make it up. This is a view of what it looked like from the top of the waterfall and this is a selfie with the 10 persons who made it to the top of 50 persons on the hike. I'm super proud of myself. Coming down was a whole other scene now. This is literally how all of us had to come back down. The struggle guys was real. I lost two fingers. <laughs> right? But we made it. <laughs> it was worth it. All in about me. <laughs> Coach. Coach Chris, right? Mood, real bush people thing. Uh, block that jump, baby. Slide it and float it. Woo! I was never going to do that, boy. Well, if you don't know where it is, I'm going to try it out. On the waterfall, I learned my lesson, but no, I go and jump in. You see me almost break my hand just now. <laughs> Yo, my physical body does not match my adventure spirit. That's crazy. Okay, guys, time to make our journey back up. Going out should be easier, except my shoes decided he's not on that. 
don't forget like comment share this video with your friends and subscribe if you haven't done so already that's it guys thanks for watching see you in the next one hugs and kisses bye